you know, I pulled up at five this morning to get my coffee and, and there's two policemen sitting outside, rolled my window down. I said, guys, you know, I just want to tell you, I appreciate who you are. Coach Clark, you know, man, we were just talking about the UAB Blazers. People just don't know about the people of Birmingham, just how great they are, how friendly, how nice. Uh, you know, I think we're just a well-kept secret. What do you remember most about that day when you found out that the program would be shutting down? Oh, just, um, it was just, it was just a terrible day. You know, it galvanized us, it brought us together, brought our community together, um, you know, and for every loss, there's something to learn out of it, you know, and I'm not a big fan of losing, but those losses are the things that we remember because they hurt. I think when you start talking about resolve and fighting and believing in our, what's going on here, believing in, in college athletics and, and how important it is to a university and the relationships that were maybe formed um, because of that. I mean, I, somebody stops me every day and I mean, no matter where I'm at, talk about that time and talk about where we are now. I had my own expectations to come in here and have a chance to compete and win. So we were trying to create these expectations without creating something that we just couldn't get to. Um, but I mean, that's how we're sitting in this building, in this facility. We said we want to do it right. All those people, our foundation, all those guys that got involved with that and, and helped us do this thing the right way. So when you drive from the campus here to Legion Field, what is some of the greatest memories that you recall? You know, I think anytime I come down this road, I think about coming in on game day. Yeah. From our first game, you know, in 2014, where we played Troy, you know, an in-state rival. And then, of course, everything about this year, from that first game against Alabama A&M, you know, we had the, the record-breaking crowd, you know, 45,000 plus. Um, you know, what an event that was. And then every game here, you know, obviously we were blessed to, to go undefeated at home. There's so. a lot of history here at Legion Field with the expectation of a new field being built, um, a new stadium, how bittersweet is it when you look at this stadium and, and think, you know, this is home for now, but soon there will be a new home. Talk about the history of college football um, at Legion Field. I mean, it just, you know, some of the greatest games of all time have been played here. But we're very appreciative. Uh, you know, we still got games to play here, but, you know, it was time. You know, we've said that it was, it was time for Birmingham to get a new stadium. I think it all goes together with the growth we're taking as a program, the growth our city is taking, uh, you know, this, this revitalization, and, um, you know, it's kind of was the next step for us. What are you able to show recruits and people that are coming into this program in terms of the new facilities and what the future looks like? Let's just talk about this weight room. If you can see these racks, and I know, you know, it's impressive. Yeah, I got, I got to brag on a rack. And it's you know, got that real fresh smell. That's Love right. It. Yeah, brand new stuff. But the coolest thing about it, if you'll look, each one of these racks has got, you see that computer on top of it oh, and that wow. iPad. Oh, wow. Okay. So their, their workout is being filmed. So they can come back, pull their stuff up, look at their technique. The coach can go over technique with them. But this is the latest, greatest technology. And, and you know, that's what we've been saying about UAB. Just from our medical standpoint, we should be on the cutting edge. And I think that's where we're headed with this. Here's where it all goes down, your new practice facility, the Pavilion. Man, you look out here and it's wide open. There's a little breeze out here yep. you get a catch in the yep. afternoon. What sets this facility apart and why has this really enhanced your ability to train really at all times? Yeah, you know, to me it starts with the practical aspect, which we're covered, we're safe from the weather. It's attached to our building, so you've got the, you know, groups are out here doing speed work, dynamic warm-ups, they're in there training. We can see them. You know, we got the new business school. You got the mountains. Um, obviously, we got to get this, make this a grass field over here. But I think there's just a cool factor. We knew we had the we had the great town. We had the great school. They needed to see we were committed to football here, and now they see it. We start talking about what is our goals. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look straight ahead. You know. I mean, that's that's a big goal. We're coming here to do something special. We had some work to do. It's amazing to me how many coaches, whether I'm at the AFCA convention or I get a text or maybe a junior college coach says, you know, what UAB meant to them, um, that we fought, we stuck it out, you know, we believed, uh, we didn't quit. And, and, you know, just the people of this town, I hear that. Those are the things, I, you know, maybe I'm having a bad day and somebody says, you know, you're an inspiration to us. You know, I tell everybody all the time, I'm just appreciative. I'm excited about where we're headed and our city is headed. And we just got to keep our foot on the gas. Help keep Alabama beautiful by putting the brakes on litter.